everyone, I'm Megan and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out for the very first time the brand new Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. Guys, this product is so like intriguing to me so I cannot wait to play with this on camera and let you guys see my first impression of it. And not only do I have this, I've got this in two shades, but I'm also going to be testing out their new sketch and set brow pencil I think that's what it's called yeah so anyhow if you're curious to hear my thoughts on these products then you're in the right place so just go ahead and keep on watching hey guys I am so happy to be sitting here filming talking to you guys um I mentioned this product on my Instagram stories a few days ago I had got it in the mail um, I saw it first on Babs Beauty on her Instagram and she said, I don't know, it just really intrigued me. And you can tell by the title, but it is the Shape Tape Glow One and it is exclusively at QVC.com. I don't know, it's not even on Tarte's website, so that seems kind of odd to me, but anyhow, I have got these two glow ones to test out as well as the brand new Big Ego Sketch and Set Brow Pencil. So all I've done is primed, prepped my skin and put um, foundation on which I use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish, I think that's what it's called. Um, so I've, I've just put that on, no concealer, no under eye brightener, corrector. I always go in with the Charlotte Tilbury under eye corrector, um, but I didn't because I really wanted to test this out. So what I'm going to do, and I also picked up this Quickie Double Ended Concealer Brush. So I may try to play with this end as well as a sponge and just kind of see whatever works best. But yeah, so what I'm reading, and it's 25 bucks on QVC, but if you have like never placed an order with them, you can get $5 off your order with the um, coupon code HOLIDAY. So go check it out. It does have four stars, but it only has one review. <laughs> um, so let me get one out. I did pick it up in two shades, Sunbeam and a glow. Because I, you know, it's... It's hard, especially it's a new product, and it doesn't kind of tell you, okay, if you're in this shade of the Shape K Concealer, you need this shade, which I think that would have been more helpful, but anyhow, this is what it looks like. Super cute. So, and then you get this little sponge on the end down here. I mean, I really don't know what you're going to do with that, but I probably will not be using that, but it's there if you'd like. And let's pull it out, see what the, so it just looks like a regular doe foot. So this one is sunbeam and then a glow is a little bit darker, which might be my shade. So here is the difference. So you can tell this one's a little bit darker. And then here is the double ended quickie brush, which I actually didn't purchase from QVC. I got this from Tarte. Um, I picked up some of their new stuff from Sugar Rush, so I will be playing with that. I picked up their new brush set, their new eyeshadow palette, and a new matte liquid lip. So I will be playing with that very soon. And then here is the Sketch and Set Brow Pencil and Tinted Gel. So I'm super obsessed with the Benefit um, Brow Styler, I don't know what it's called, but it's just powder on one end and then a pencil on the other. But this is a pencil, which hopefully this matches. So you just get like a little thin pencil, which I appreciate. And then you get the um, spoolie with the brow gel. And I picked this up in Ash Blonde, and I think it'll be all right. So, first things first, I am going to put on some concealer. So, I'm going to pull you guys in closer so you'll really be able to see, like, what this product does. Because I'm just super excited to see. But, I will read what it says on QVC.com. It says... You'll be best in glow with this brightener that delivers whenever, wherever you need. 
<laughs> formulated with micro fine pearl pigments plus a double ended applicator and removable sponge for easy blending you have multiple ways to glow over concealer at the high points of your face mixed with foundation or moisturizer or for the collarbone so it says how to use it says glide on brightener and blend out with the removable sponge which we're not using that sponge <laughs> so i am just going to put the light shape tape on and then if i feel like this is a little too light i'm going to go in with light medium just so it blends in better with my foundation so yeah all right and then we'll go over it with this glow one and see if it really brightens everything up so i'll go ahead and zoom you guys in so i hope you all had a very merry christmas and enjoy time with your friends and family i love Christmas is my favorite holiday, and I had so much fun these past couple of days with my friends, family, and yeah, just spending time with each other. It was really, really nice, but I'm so happy it's kind of over, and now I can get my house back to normal. It's like, you love all the decoration, but then like after Christmas is over, you're like, oh gosh, so now I've got to put all this up. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get there. Most of the time I leave mine up to like January 1st, like New Year's. <laughs> so I got a few more days to wait. All right. So I'm going to go in with the light shape tape first, directly under my eyes. I haven't used shape tape in forever. So I wonder if you blend this out first or if you just blend it out and then put it on or if you put it on now so i think i'm gonna go in with maybe the darker one this is a glow i'm gonna put a little bit of that under there oh that's a lot darker well maybe that'll kind of help it blend Let's see so you can see like where a glow is. So it's a lot darker than the concealer. Yeah, it would have been nice if they would have said, okay, if you're in shade light, then you need this shade, but that's okay. Um, Let's see. All right, I think I'm gonna go in with my sponge. I'm trying to look up close. I mean, maybe it's glowing a little bit. I think we need to take some down the nose too. I mean, I think it, you know, most of the time shape tape is, you know, very matte. So there is def you know, some glow in there now. So I can definitely tell that I did not use my under eye corrector because there's definitely some darkness peeking through right there. So now I'm gonna try to go in with the lighter one in Sunbeam and I'm gonna put that like directly under my eyes and see if, what that does. Because I mean, you can see there's some definite, you know, oh yeah, there you go. That is actually really pretty. This might be too much, but we'll just try it out and see. So, there is what it looks like with it blended in with a concealer. I think people with dry skin would love this mixed in with the shape tape because a lot of people with dry skin have a hard time using shape tape. So, this product definitely thins it out a lot and does give you that glow. So, now it says you can use it on the high points of your face. So I think I'm gonna go 
and I'm going in with a glow which is the darker one and I'm just gonna go over this right here I'm also gonna bring it down <laughs> the center of my nose Cupid's bow and I think that's it I really don't want to like highlight my chin or anywhere else but I think this will look really pretty so that's really really pretty it's just like a pretty liquid highlight is the best way I can describe it but it's going over this foundation beautifully it's not pulling it up. I was kind of concerned about that, but it's not. And it actually looks really nice. And I think this would be a great product to use on those days where you don't really want to go full coverage, but you want some glow. Just hit the high points of your face and you're good to go. So what I'm going to do now is go in with my cream contour, go ahead and set everything. And I'm curious to see if like the powder is going to cover this up or if it's going to shine through. So we'll test that out. And then I will come back and we will play with the new brow pencil. So I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, guys. So I just finished up putting on my cream contour. I went in with my Graftopian little palette here. And then I set everything in place with the... Um, the translucent Laura Mercier powder and then in the places that I cream contoured I went over it with the medium deep powder I'm obsessed with this powder combo so just to because a lot of times the translucent powder will kind of wash my cream contour out so I found if I just set this area where I put concealer at with the translucent powder and then I go over you know the perimeters with the medium deep it just looks a lot better so then loving those two together I'm obsessed with that new medium deep it looks so good you would think it's kind of intimidating to begin with but really you don't need a lot and just dust over it. it's so good so as I'm looking in the viewfinder the glow is still shining through even though I powdered everything so, I mean, down the center of my nose, you can still see a little bit of glow and through here. So, now we are ready to play with this new brow pencil. And I did mention in my Instagram stories that whenever they sent me this, um, whenever I purchased these products, opened my box, they had sent a coupon in there and one was for me and one was for you guys. So it is called a gift for you and I will leave it down here at the bottom of the screen. So if you're interested, you can get 15% off at Tarte.com. I'm not sure if you can use it on QVC, but it is on Tarte.com. You know, you do get that 15% off. So now... This is a brand new pencil by Tarte. It is $24 and there is two, four, six, seven shades of it. And it says sketch and set your brows with this two-in-one brow pencil and tinted gel. The full size ultra slim pencil with micro tip precisely fills in eyebrows with hair like strokes while the tinted gel helps to keep them in place with subtle color. So it says shape brows using the pencil side of the two-in-one tool and then glide the precision tip along the shape of your eyebrows to fill in sparse areas. Set your brows in place with the tin and gel. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if this is just a QVC exclusive as well. I'm not sure. Um, but I will link everything down below. So one thing I am noticing, there is no spoolie except, you know, for the gel. So I might need to get a spoolie. So I just grabbed a spoolie that I had and I'm just going to brush up on my brows. I haven't filled my brows in in so long because I've been using the Benefit one with just the powder and oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Like. I don't know. I haven't filled my brows in in so long because I've been using that. So I probably forgot how to do it. <laughs> so I'm just going to start at the bottom and make a line. Then I'm going to go at the top and do the same. 
So it's feeling kind of stiff. Yeah, it's like really, really hard. Really hard. I'm even trying, I'm like warming it up on my hand. I'm not liking it so far. Ooh. I could have probably went a little darker, but this is okay. Yeah, I'm having to like really work hard at this, so this is definitely not my favorite. It's, it's too hard. You know, I don't like, it's not waxy enough, I guess. You know, a lot of the drugstore pencils are very waxy and, you know, just hard to work with. Like, it just gets everywhere. This is like the exact opposite. It's like so hard. I'm having to mash down like really hard. I feel like I'm ripping my hairs out. And I'm really not getting that much color payoff, or maybe this pencil is just too light for me, but. So I think that's as good as I'm gonna be able to get it with the pencil. I mean, it's not the worst I've used. I just had to really like, you know, press down pretty hard to get, you know, the color payoff that I was looking for. So now let's try the other side and let's go in with the tinted brow gel and see how that does. So I definitely feel like the brow gel is a little lighter than the pencil. Kind of looks like my brows have highlights now. <laughs> So there's that. So here's the side by side. I think I got a little crazy with the pencil, but it's not bad. It's not the worst brow I've done, okay? <laughs> All right. So I am going to pop off camera, finish up my other brow, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I will come back and give you guys my final thoughts on these products. So I'll see you guys here in a second. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up all my makeup and I definitely have some thoughts on this little product right here. I love it. <laughs> um, I, I've got some blinding highlight on as you can see, but after I put my powders on, you guys saw it showed through. I really feel like it kind of, it really just brightened my whole face up and it didn't pull my foundation up. I really like this product to use as a liquid highlight or to brighten up the concealer. So I will definitely continue to use this and I'm so glad I got it in two shades, a lighter and a darker, but I'm, I'm really liking this product so far. So I'm definitely gonna continue playing with it, but overall I really, really, really enjoyed it and I think it did what it was meant to do. On the other hand, <laughs> The Sketch and Set Brow Pencil was just so hard for me to use. I will tell you, the brow gel is really nice. My brows are definitely in place. I mean, you can tell there's gel in there. Um, but I just felt like I had to work way too hard than I should on brows. Um, I don't know, I even tried to warm it up on my hand and the pencil just didn't soften up. It wasn't waxy enough, I guess. I don't know, it wasn't the right consistency for me. So overall, I would probably pass on this just unless you want to, but um, I mean, the brow gel is fine, but the pencil is just so tough. So I would definitely not recommend this to you guys, but yeah, it's a, it's a hard pass for me. But on the other hand, I would definitely try this out, especially if you have dry skin and to mix this in with your concealer to kind of lighten it up and brighten up those areas that you want a little more brightness and you want to conceal a little more. I think this would do the job wonderfully. So anyhow, overall guys, that is my thoughts on these 
products. I hope this video was very helpful for you. I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. And if you are not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. And thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next ones. Bye.